we got dessert coming up. The I don't want to hear any, anybody say anything about uh, pecan pie. It's not coming up. It's fucking gross. We're talking about pumpkin okay. pie. Pecan pie is Blech. nasty. Literally Ew, disgusting. It's just nuts. Nuts, sugar, and a pie crust. Fuck off. No way. Anyway. <laughs> disgusting. Go, I've literally never tried pecan pie. But I you don't have to. to. Like, it's gross. I just know it's nasty. I'm not like a big nut person, especially pecans. I don't even really like the smell of a pecan pie. No, it's gross. So that's why we got pumpkin pie, which is way better. This is where Justin Tucker comes into play. So the pumpkin God. pie, it's at the end. You gotta take take it home for victory. That's where a kicker comes in. Like you said, Justin Tucker's the best to ever do it. Um, he's the guy. So when I thought of a pumpkin pie, I thought of a kicker. I was like, it's gotta be Justin. We gotta have Justin at the table. So this is where I put him. I think that's a good choice. I feel like um, like you said, the kicker is, I think that pumpkin pie is like the cherry on top of the meal and you need a solid kicker on your team or else you're fucked. As we saw at the bears lions games yesterday, like everyone can't has be been missing extra points by a kicker before facts who hasn't certainly I have say <laughs> not the Ravens though. Apparently no. not the Ravens. Must be nice. No. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I think this is a good pick for sure. I went with pumpkin pie, like you said, at the end of the meal. It's like a sweet treat. It's like an added bonus. Um, cherry on top, like I said, and it's also like pretty and makes your mouth water. <laughs> what so is going on? What are you doing? To... This isn't a thirst you. trap. <laughs> This is not a thirst trap video. What is going on? When Travis Kelsey is involved, it's always a thirst trap video. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not um... going to agree on this at all. This is wild to me. No, I think that, like we said, I feel like you need Travis Kelsey to complete the team. And I wish I had the Giants had a tight end like Travis Kelsey. Yeah, and he's the best in the league. And I love me some pumpkin pie, and I love me some Travis Kelsey. So that's where he's going. Two thirsty ass picks back to back. All right. Wow. Were they? Oh yeah, TJ Watt. Yes. <laughs> but again, I do have logic behind them. You need. I feel like, like sometimes you're so full at the end of Thanksgiving. That you are like, do I really need this pumpkin pie? But you do need the pumpkin pie to complete the day and the festivities. And you that's what you need Travis Kelsey. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> um, so Derek's pumpkin pie is not a thirst trap, but it is the Cowboys player. He put pumpkin pie underrated. Dalton Schultz, another tight end pick. I literally was screaming at my TV at fucking Dalton Schultz yesterday. <laughs> he got a uh, 17 fantasy points. He was sitting on my bench, of course, but. I can't get behind the amount of money they're going to have to pay Dalton Schultz to keep him. I don't think he's that yes. guy. Um, See, I, I think hmm. he's a pretty solid tight end this season. I don't know what his future holds. I just can't stand the thought of wrapping more money up into a guy that I know is ultimately going to disappoint me when I look back in 30 years. That was really morbid. So, fuck, <laughs> no. No! I'm a super cowboy hater right now. I just can't get behind it at all. And can't so. get behind any player at the moment. But I, I honestly kind of like that pick for Derek. <sighs> My favorite Cowboys players are backup running back right now. So that's where we're at. Um, it happens. I wanted to like Dalton Schultz too. I just like, I, I'm just like reading into the future. I don't think it's going to work out. But... I think Dalton Schultz is on two of my fantasy teams. I don't know how, but I think he's sitting on the bench for both, which I fucked up this week, but 
in my dynasty league, someone's trying to trade me Dalton Schultz in a first round pick for Travis Kelsey, and I told him to fuck off. Yeah, no. Exactly. If no. Fuck, exactly. <laughs> no. He's the best tight end in the game. Fuck off. I need I'm going to need a lot more picks. Than, yeah, I'm going to need a lot more than Dalton Schultz. Sh- oh my god. What's his last name? Schultz? Schultz. Yeah. Schultz. Yeah. Shorts. Dalton Shorts. Dalton no, fucking Dalton Shorts. Schultz. <laughs> For Travis Kelsey. Like I think he I think he is a little underrated, like a little bit, when you talk about like the tight end pool. But I don't think he's as underrated that you should trade Travis Kelsey away from him. Hell no. I was absolutely shook. I was like, get out of the fantasy league. You're a loser. Hopefully, I don't. Yeah, I don't even know the dude's name, but whatever. Um, yeah. Isn't it funny? Like, because I'm in one of the like a. Uh, fantasy league with some of my old co-workers but some of the people in there i don't know at all and i'm just like who are you yeah i think he's like one of clayton's friends i'm like fuck this kid don't message me again <laughs> i'm not trading travis kelsey leave me alone yeah like if you're trying to get travis kelsey you better throw down like five first round picks for travis kelsey yeah, for sure. Especially in a dynasty league, those are so hard. That's what the one is with like my old coworkers. My team's literal ass, so I'm gonna need a consistent force like Travis Kelsey on the team for the next few years. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <sighs> anyway, this is so Derek suggested we put this on the list. I agree with him. Um, it is deviled eggs. This is a hot take. The best way to eat an egg is a deviled egg. And Derek agreed with me, too. So it's two against one. You're already wrong. Um, Anyway. Sound off in the comments if you hate deviled eggs. I could eat 20 deviled eggs. No problem. No. No. So for deviled eggs, this is what I was thinking. I was like, all right, I need somebody that is never, ever, ever talked about, but is elite. So I went defense here. I went Justin Simmons, the Broncos safety. No Dude. one talks about this dude. No. He is a great player. He's one of three dudes with 250 plus tackles and 10 plus interceptions in the last four years. And, you know, he's elite. He's on a team where there's some drama. It's kind of like the Nick Chubb. Not talked about as much. Having a, having a little bit of a rough patch with the team. But this is the guy. I love Justin Simmons. I love deviled eggs. Goat pick. I literally can't even talk about this thing. <laughs> but I like the pick for your reasoning. And Justin Simmons is probably one of very few bright spots on the Broncos right now. And like you said, I think when there's any sort of controversy or drama going on with an organization and it's one of their like premier players like that's all anyone talks about and they just forget that there's other players on the team right that's facts fuck russell wilson loser (laughs) i hate (laughs) russell wilson too he's a loser (laughs) kelsey really despises russell wilson and he's phony. He's a phony, fake weirdo. Yeah, I think like a lot is coming out about him recent. I've never had an. I still don't have an issue with him just because like, whatever. Um, he's no Aaron Rodgers because I no. really hate that guy. Um, but one of my favorite Russell Wilson stories is that he was like working out in the aisle of the airplane for like four hours. On their flight to London. Like, you're a little psycho up there. <laughs> I, that infuriated me. I would pay so much money for just a book or a podcast of every former Russell Wilson teammate talking shit about what he did. Like a tell all. I would pay so much for that. I need to know. Well, I think um, I saw a clip from, and I don't know if it was recent or within the past few years. But it was Richard Sherman and Marshawn Lynch talking about mm-hmm. Russell Wilson and their experience with him. 
and they were saying they really didn't say like any like shady shit or talk like super negatively about him but in the clip they said like obviously russell wilson's the quarterback captain leader of the team but they said he was like the hardest person to get into contact with on the team like basically everyone else was there for each other you could text call like they would be there immediately for you they got your back but with russell wilson it was like very hard to get into contact with him or get him to like come out or bond with the team or things like that which I thought was fascinating because I think the light that the media puts him in or in that he wants to be put in is that he's like this all great leader and like super sweet and like brings the team together and helps bond them and stuff like that. So I thought that was a super interesting clip from that podcast. And I was like, huh, there is some drama here that no one's talking about. Those are the two that could spill so much tea if they wanted to, yes. and I need them to. I think it'll eventually come out. I'm begging for it because he's a phony. I'm sure it will. I think probably like respectfully, they're gonna wait until he retires from the NFL, and then I'm sure like things will come out about him, or all previous um, teammates will talk shit or whatever, but. Now, if it were know. us, um, he would have been wrecked a long time ago. This podcast is not about <laughs> respect. It's about tea. <laughs> it is about the drama of sports, whether good or bad. Um, uh, speaking of shitting on NFL quarterbacks, <gasps> <laughs> I mean, you probably already know what my deviled egg pick is. I am not a deviled egg fan i don't really like eggs in general like i eat them because i know they're like good protein and like health benefits whatever but like my breakfast of choice is an eggs and Mm -hmm. it really never has been but again it is a convenient thing and it's healthy for you add some veggies spinach whatever but and so there's that then the next level i never really liked hard-boiled eggs And I tried to like them. I tried so hard. Like, as a kid, we would make the eggs and, like, decorate them for Easter. And, like, I would try to, like, a hard-boiled egg, like, put salt on it. I I don't – I couldn't. It's, like, jelly egg. I didn't like it at all. And I never liked the yellow, the yolk inside. So then you have deviled eggs, which is probably my worst nightmare, not to be dramatic. But, like – even the thought of putting a deviled egg in my mouth, I can feel I can feel the gag like in my throat. Wow! And I remember like a core memory is we were up at Derek's parents' cabin in Georgia, and their whole family loves deviled eggs. And Angie, his mom, who's a fantastic cook, so this is no shade to her cooking. She made deviled eggs, and it's like one of Derek's favorite things that she makes. And they were like, do you want to try one? And I felt, and I was in high school, so I almost was just like, yeah, just because, like, I felt bad saying no to his parents and being rude, but I couldn't make myself do it. And I was like, no, thank you. I just, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I literally can't, I can't, I can't even wrap my head around it. I can't wrap my head around it. I don't like them. I never have. I don't know if I ever will. So, for that reason, I literally put deviled egg equal the devil. My least favorite, Aaron Rodgers. (laughs) The devil. (laughs) It's Aaron Rodgers. (laughs) The literal devil. Wow. A very literal pick from you. Very literal. Yeah, the Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, super literal, just because I don't like them. But especially Aaron Rodgers, I'm like... Yeah, what's my least favorite um, meal or least favorite dish on this dinner table? That belongs to Aaron Rodgers. I'm pretty sure that was the first one I put because I just was like, yep. So enjoy your deviled eggs, Aaron Rodgers. (laughs) Me and Aaron will just be popping devil's eggs. Me, Aaron, and Derek. This is a good pick for your reasoning since you hate them so much. I'm passionately against deviled eggs and passionately for sweet potato casserole um 
So Derek put, which I don't understand this reasoning at all because I love this player, but he put deviled eggs. Not everyone's favorite, but I'm a fan. And he picked Juju Smith Schuster. <laughs> I can but see like, well. Are I people understand not what he's a saying. fan of him? Yes, because of the tick. He was like all up on TikTok dancing last season or a couple of seasons ago, and people were shitting all over him. Um. Who and cares? I know he he bragged a lot when the Steelers were good, and then it, it all went downhill. So people were shitting on him. Um, so I did. I definitely, I definitely understand what he's saying. I didn't know he liked Juju Smith Schuster, but I can see, I can see the direction. Because yeah, a lot of people don't like him. I never knew that. I thought he was like one of those guys, like a fan favorite. I love oh, him. No. I think he's entertaining, and he has a personality. I have him on a on a team now. He's been playing really well, so I don't hate him. But yeah, a lot of people don't like him because TikTok. So it all comes back to TikTok, which as it like, should. If you don't follow us on TikTok, definitely follow us so you can see our clips, our beautiful faces, and we're gonna push out some more content on TikTok as well. So wow, that was a good plug for sure. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Three very interesting choices for deviled eggs. Different reasons, but yes. here we are. I feel like you took the favorite. Derek was in the middle, and I took the absolute least favorite. Depths of hell. Devil. Clearly. <laughs> That's what fans' home team's all about. The depths of hell. Um, <laughs> anyway. 